it's Ashley, the Water Lady. Welcome back to Water Wednesday. Today we're going to be introducing Gerald Steiner. It's from Germany. It's actually from the Vulcan Eiffel region. In 1888, a mining director during drilling operations discovered the carbonated source. So he establishes a company and begins bottling in clay jugs. By 1890, they were exporting to the U.S. Chicago in mind. Why is that? Because there was a high German immigrant population. In 1900, they switched to glass bottles. In 1944, during Christmas time, the factory is destroyed during a raid. But by 1846, they fix a line and they're up and running again. In 1992, they introduced an upscale bottle for the hospitality industry. And in 2001, they introduced an apple spritzer, y'all. Their tagline is Germany's most popular sparkling water. Let's talk packaging, y'all. So we get a 750 milliliter glass bottle. The glass is very whimsical. It kind of looks like a water wave has been embossed along the top. The label is simple, yet eye-catching with its bold font and its crest-like logo. It's my favorite part, y'all. Let's drink. Today, not only are we drinking the sparkler, we're gonna try the apple spritzer, y'all. taste y'all. You ever ate pop rocks as a kid? Well the sparkling water is going to leave that mouthfeel on your tongue. It instantly dries your mouth out. It has a medicinal feel, kind of like when you drink an Alka-Seltzer. But it has a silky milky finish because of the high calcium. This one's definitely a bold one y'all. Now let's talk apple spritzer. It's the perfect combination of apple juice and sparkling water. The bubbles make for a light mouth feel but you don't lose any of the flavor. It's great on those days when you need a little bit something more than water. Have you tried Gerald Steiner? Would you like to try Gerald Steiner? Guess where you can get it, y'all. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next week.